Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Uh, this is to show you something that I've been uh, working with for uh, a little while now. I've had this headset for, I say probably over five months now. It's been a while, I can't remember right now exactly how much it is, but I really wanted to play with it for a while before giving you what I thought about it. Um, it this is important because this is a headset that is not very cheap. I wouldn't say it's expensive, but it's definitely not on the budget side of headsets. Uh, the headset I'm talking about is the Stealth 400 in Turtle Beach. Um, so far, I've been very pleased with it. <clears throat> in the in the in the box itself, you basically get the headset and you get the adapter for the console, and you get your microphone as well. I don't know if I have anything in it right now. Let's see, I haven't really opened this box yet. Let's go ahead and give it up. Oh, you also get a uh, 3.5 adapter, so in case you want to listen to something from your uh, from your uh, cell phone. Um, but the box is very plain, it's cheap, cheap plastic, cheap car cardboard. Uh, you get some warranty information in there as well. Uh, questions for setup and stuff like that. You get a sticker. I don't know where you want to put that. Um, and that's about it, and then you get this plastic box where the headset goes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but the most important part is this, it's the headset itself. Um, it comes with the mic, which I'm pretty sure, yeah, so it's detachable. Um, so far from my, uh, I'm in a clan, uh, play Destiny, for those of you guys that play Destiny, what's up? So, so far, the, the clan members have been able to tell me that the, the sound coming out of this mic is pretty, like, pretty cool. Uh, so you can hear me clearly. Uh, even when I don't um, wear it very close to my mouth, I wear it kind of far. And, uh, and they still are able to hear me like super clear. Uh, and it picks up noises like really far. So you, you know, if you have a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whatever, uh, you gotta make sure that they stay quiet. Tell them to stay quiet, even though they're far away, because they'll still be able to pick up uh, what I'm saying. Uh, it comes with branding in it, so that's the branding on the mic. Very easy to connect to. Uh, it's just got a hole in here, just plug that in there. Come on, baby. Like so, and that's about it. Uh, the ear cups are made out of that, um, it's not faux leather or leather. It's a lot of cushion in them. Uh, the entire headset is plastic. It's the entire headset is made of plastic. It has branding up on top. Uh, same kind of material here at the bottom of the headset. Um, it's got the, the information for which one is right and which one is left, is left on the inside of it. It's got a whole bunch of controls. I don't think. Yeah, and this one on this side of the. Okay, so it goes this way. And then on this side of the cup, you have your. Um, is it good? No. So on this side of the cup, you basically don't have anything. <coughs> Sorry, uh, just the logo in here. And then on this side of the, this side of the headset, uh, you have your power button. And then you press and hold that to turn it on. And then when you do that, um, you get a information on your um, on your ear cup saying basically it's on or off. I'm gonna put this next to the microphone so you can hear what I mean. Right? Um, it goes up and down like this for adjustments, and then it swivels a little bit so that you know, if you're taking a break or whatever, you can just put it right in your neck like so. Um, what can I say? Sound is really good. The whole set is, is the whole set is black. I've got this blue uh, ring around the cups itself. 
that's about it. Uh, it does have branded in here. And like I said, the, the Turtle Beach uh, brand as well on top. Uh, it does blink, let you know that it's on. Uh, it will blink red, I believe, when it's charging. The way you charge it is you basically connect the USB cable in there to a power brick. You can use any power brick you use for my phone. Uh, it's got um, volume controls for the sound of the game, so ambient sound and just basically just the, the game um, sounds. And then in, uh, underneath that, it has your chat um, controls, so you can control how much music or sound from the game you want and how much chat, uh, the, the volume of the chat you want. So you can play around with those. You know, do I want to hear people more than I want to hear the game, the sound of the game? Do I want to hear the sound of the game more than what I'm hearing uh, the, the, the sound of the voices of the people in the party? So that's pretty cool. Um, in here, that's your uh, 3.5 connector that I told you about, so that if you want to plug this into a, a, a phone, you can do so. It's got a up in the front. It's got a mute button so you can uh, mute yourself and unmute yourself. And it also has this presets button. And what that does is it changes. Um, let's see how it. You know how in receivers you can change your your, your audio styles, like if you the concert style, the hall style, style uh, regular surround and stuff like that. Basically the same thing. It's got multiple presets. One of them is like super bassy sound. So you do have uh, multiple uh, presets for that. And that's the button. Uh, never use that. Usually you leave it in whatever the fault it is. Uh, mic sounds really good. I've been really happy with it. I would 100% recommend it to anybody that wants that's looking to get a, uh, a, a headset for PlayStation 4. It will run you about, I think it's between 70 and 90 bucks. But there are deals, you can find deals on it uh, very often. I, as a matter of fact, I bought this with $10 off. So, um, what else? Uh, the way it recommends is Bluetooth, obviously, there's no cables connected to it. Um, you do have a little dongle. Uh, it looks like a, like a USB uh, receiver from a, a mouse. So you, could, you go ahead and connect that dongle to the front, is the way I have it set up, is I have that connected to the front of the console. And then there's a cable that goes from that to the back of the console and connects to the back. And that's about it. Uh, set it up on your, um, on your uh, in settings of your, uh, your PlayStation 4 and you're good to go. Um, like I said, sound quality is really good. Um, the mic quality is extremely good. Um, big praises on the, on the sound of the mic. 100% um, recommended if you can. Go ahead and check it out at the stores. Uh, I will go. Um, I will go and buy it at Best Buy, so you can try it out. Now return it if you don't like it, but I, I, I think you will be very happy with the results. Really good mic. Like I said, totally recommend it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I will be having more stuff. Shooting with a new camera. This is the Sony A6000. We'll see how it does with uh, the zoom and stuff like that and the focus points. I heard good things about it. Let's see how it goes. I'll have a video on that uh, probably multiple, a couple of months from now because I really want to use it a lot before I leave you the final thoughts. See you guys in the next one. More, more things coming soon. Talk to you guys later.